Welcome to this 3D printing tutorial. Today we will be learning how to make 3D printed jewelry. Step 1. What is my design? Think about what kind of jewelry you would like to make. Earrings, a ring, or a necklace pendant. It might be helpful to do a simple sketch of your design. Step 2. Measure. Once you have a jewelry design in mind, it's time to take measurements to see what size your jewelry should be. Measurements are in millimeters. Included in this kit is a millimeter roller. So for this design, I've created a simple sketch of flower earrings and I'm making them about 20 millimeters long and about 20 millimeters in width. Included in the kit is also a ring sizer tool and a ring sizing chart. Use the included ring sizer tool to measure your finger to see what size your ring should be. Fold the ring sizer tool and then put it around your finger and pull the tab snug and you will see, for example, I'm about a size ring 10. Now that I have my ring size, I can go ahead and look and see what diameter my ring should be. So the diameter for a ring size 10 is 19.8 millimeters. This means the width from one inside edge of the ring to the other inside edge of the ring should be 19.8 millimeters to fit a ring size 10. This will be useful when we are creating and designing our ring in 3D printing software. Here is a list of 3D design learning resources from places such as Tinkercad, SketchUp, Fusion 360, and more. For this design, we'll be using Tinkercad.com, a great resource for beginners. You will need to create a free account on Tinkercad or sign into your existing account to proceed. Children under 13 will need parental or guardian approval. Click the Learn tab in the top right corner to learn how to use Tinkercad. So I'm going to create my design and I'm going to start by renaming this design to Flower Earrings. I'm going to start off using a very simple shape the circle for the inside of the flower. Now I'm going to start adding and shaping the petals. You can see Tinkercad is a very simple, easy to use online software that uses drag and drop technology to create simple designs that can be 3D printed. You can use the white squares around each shape to modify the scale of your object. Now I'm going to simply copy this petal and I can do that by hitting Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And then I can move around the petals until I have a complete flower. So as you can see now I've completed the base of the flower earring. I'm just going to modify a few details, like making the center more raised from the petals. And of course, because it's an earring, I have to go ahead and add a little attachment so that I can attach my earring hook to the flower. So I'm just going to use a small little circle and make sure that it is at least two millimeters in diameter 
so that the earring hook can fit through the hole. Looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and draw an outline and group it all together so that it stays in one piece. Now I'm gonna size my earrings so that it matches my original sketch. So my original sketch, I wanted it to be 20 millimeters long. So I can type that right in there by 20 millimeters wide. And now that it's sized accurately, I can go ahead and make a copy of the same earring. Again, it's control C to copy and control V on your keyboard to paste. Step four, save your 3D design file. Select both of your earrings Click export and click on STL, which will save your 3D design file to your computer or device. Now I'm going to start designing a ring. So remember my ring size was 10, which was 19.8 millimeters in diameter. So I'm gonna change this circle, or I should say cylinder, to 19.8 millimeters on each side. Then I'm gonna drag and drop the ring onto my screen and I'm gonna see if this cylinder, which is 19.8 millimeters, the diameter is going to fit inside this ring. And I'm gonna resize as necessary so that the diameter of my ring is the same size as the diameter of my cylinder. Now that I have my ring the right size, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that cylinder. And I'm gonna start putting a little bit of design onto my heart ring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag a plane onto one of my rings so that I can transport the heart straight onto the surface of the ring. I'm gonna resize the heart as necessary and put it flush against the surface of the ring. I'm going to finish up the ring and then I'm going to select all items of the ring and group them. After I group them, I can export the ring as an STL file and that is what I'll be using to print my jewelry design. Step 5. Get ready to print. Email your STL file to ukiah library at mendocinocounty.org and we will print your design for you. Here we have a time-lapse video of the 3D printer printing the flower earrings that I designed. Most designs can print in about half an hour depending on the size of your design. And here is the finished product complete with earring hooks. And here is the finished heart ring complete with a little paint job. Thank you for watching and happy 3D printing.